Hey guys, um, so today we're going to learn how to scrape uh, Reddit uh, as subreddit, like let's say programming subreddit specifically, uh, using Python and Beautiful Soup. Beautiful Soup is a Python library, and we're going to do a web scraping tutorial just as quickly as possible. Very practical, we'll keep it. This is not going to be perfect, but it will give you all the concepts that you need to understand very, very fast about web scraping. Uh, using beautiful soup um, and CSS selectors, you're going to learn all of that. And basically, very practical. It will get to the point. It will get you to, to the data as quickly as possible. And then you can always sit and optimize it. All right. So let's uh, let's start doing that. Let's go to <clears throat> let's go to uh, programming subreddit. Okay. So we're going to say Reddit programming user. All right, this is how it looks. Okay, so this is what we're going to scrape. We're trying to scrape a headline, maybe the number of uploads, maybe even the number of comments. Let's try and uh, see if we can do that. Okay. So, the first thing is we need to use the request command and the module to get our data first. So, let's first of all do the web crawling part of it using. The, at the request module. It's pretty simple to do that. Um, you're going to use request <coughs> dot get function and you're going to pass the URL and then you're going to pass some headers to it. The reason why you need headers is because um, Reddit might not respond if you don't pretend to be a browser. right? So we're going to send out a header called user agent string which is Reddit with we are a browser and we need to pretend to be a browser so we can pretend to be anything. What is a browser that you always wanted to be? So here's a list of user agent string. You can even be an iPad if you want for a minute. But we are gonna, I like to pretend to be a Safari browser so it doesn't sort of distort anything. So I see what I get over here um, or a Chrome browser is fine. So this, I'm just gonna copy that and put it here and call it header equals you're going to define the diff that you can define all sorts of headers one of the headers you're going to define is that we care about is user agent uh, string right and then you're going to define it as that okay so that should satisfy reddit that we are a browser and should return and not fail on us right um and we'll let's put this somewhere let's put, put this response into a response variable and let's save it maybe as a beautiful soup um what is reddit py okay and then i'm already on that directory i'm gonna run it i'm gonna i'm gonna run the python three beautiful soup reddit dot py and have we printing this response? Let's print the response. Let's see if this works out. There we go. Ouch. URL, of course, URL itself is not defined. And uh, that uh, obviously we need to do that. URL equals. Oops, here we go. Should print out a lot of that content. This one's 200. That's interesting. Let's see if it is blocked as yeah. It might be an aberration in the internet. So we're just going to get it anyway. As equals headers. Let me just check if I've done any ish, any weird thing over here. Mm. Safari, there's no special characters anywhere. URL equals HTTPS, it is called. Do we have any headers equals? It does in the response, and I'm printing the response. Oh, 
right response.content about that yes <laughs> response is correct 200 response for a moment i thought that was a bad thing it's not a bad thing isn't it uh, so what we need to do is put the response.content all right so let's just clear all this gibberish that's not really useful we're just testing here that's all okay so now let's find out uh, we're going to make a soup out of this. So here's the first thing we need to do before we do anything else to learn how to, let's comment this out. We're going to make this. Let's learn to make a soup out of this, okay? Soup. Uh, the way to make it is now we're going to actually use beautiful soup for the first time. So you're going to run the content through it. So you're going to take the response object and take the content and run it through that in a particular way. We're going to do LXML. You basically pass it as XML. So first of all, if you don't have an XML as a library, you need to install it. It will come with beautiful soup. But if it's not, if it gives you an error, just install an XML library. If at this point you get an error. Uh, let's pass all of this into uh, soup. There we go. There we go. Okay. So this sort of passes all that and keeps it ready to do select statements and stuff like that for you. Okay. So let's test that theory a little bit here. Let's go ahead and now we go back and see what the CSS selectors are that we need to. Now we are into scraping. Okay, so if I go here, I can see that um, the H3 class, which is this, gives you quite a lot of, um, of content. And uh, so let's just see if we can get that out a little bit. Uh, that's the headline content. So I'm just going to see if we can get this out of this somehow. So that just just so that we get started somewhere. So the way to do it is you use the soup, you know, and from the soup you're going to pick out, which is select. <laughs> and like here, if you used ever use jQuery, you will know this pretty easy. You just use the jQuery CSS selectors, right? So whatever it is. So for example, if you want to particular, if you want to select a particular, particular element with a particular ID, you can just do that and call it by that ID. If you want a class, then you're going to do that and do class name. Okay. In this case, we want this class, isn't it? So we already picked out that class. So I'm going to use that class, and then I'm going to. Um, try and get the it so it gives an array by the way select statement always returns an array even if there's only one element and we know that we just uh, there's more than one element which is a lot of these headlines exist in reddit so we're going to pick out the first element and then try and get the text of that element i'm just trying to save you guys time yeah and let's just print this all right i hope i made a mistake let's run it oops There you go. That's the first headline, right? I've been learning about OS security late. Let's just double check. There it is. That's the first one. So if you want the second one, you just put the number one there and give you the second one. Okay. So let's not even print this. Let's get into the content now a little bit more in detail. So if you want, if you really now, let's take one without an image so it's easier. So if you want, if you want to have, um, um, the one of the tricks here in, 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 in scraping is to get the one division or some sort of element which holds everything together so that you are safely querying inside of that. So if I just mouse over this, you can see that this division with some weird ID and weird classes holds all of this together. So if I mouse over, you can see that the whole thing is blocked, right? And so what I can do is if I carefully look at it, the class name has the word post in it. That's the only meaningful word I can see over here. And that's good enough for us, right? So what we're going to do is quickly secure that by just, you know, we're going to just basically iterate through all the ones, all the elements which has a class name uh, post. So the way to do that is to simply go, uh, I'm going to do a for each in that, for let's say item in um, soup dot select, and just the way we did it there, uh, where we're going to go post because it has a capital P, if you notice. And then we're just going to 
um, we are going to print what happens here. We just print the item. It should select a bunch of posts for us with the gibberish, with all the HTML. So don't be scared. As long as sort of it prints that HTML view we are in. All right. So now we will get inside of it and we'll be able to get hold of that post and we can do all sorts of magic inside of that. My machine has been a bit slow today. Here we go. So it's giving us some content. I think they look like repeat content. So it looks fine to me. All right. So, but now again, this is gibberish. Let's just not just print the item. Sorry, well, I shouldn't have done that. We should go straight, get something inside of it. So, what I'll do is I'll now find one item that is of interest to us. Let's say this one, right? So, let's find this inside the post item. So, the way to do it is sorry about that. The way to do it is to um, is to use that and then use the item itself and query the item now because the item now can be queried with another select uh, statement in which you're going to go hmm, next put it and then you will go uh, again we have to do the first el first I element because it gives an array and then do a get text on it and let's do a print okay here we go it should give us a bunch of headlines i don't think that should be a surprise we'll buy, we'll try and get the other stuff It'll take some time um let's try and get the the number of uploads okay so one of the ways to do it is simply just copy the code class over here and put that here that's your number of uploads okay let's see if we can get that out oops i think there's an error here i didn't put a dot so that that would have cached or returned nothing and be surprised then just index out of range, of course, because I didn't put the dot, so I'm not telling what it is. <clears throat> so um, they should get it. Let's my, my, meanwhile just simply go get everything else that we need. Let's get the comments as well. Okay, so there it is. The class is very simple. We'll just go there and get comments. Um, get the number of comments. And that should print the comments. And what else can we print? Should we take out the H? Oh yes, we need the we need the um, the link itself. Okay, the link itself. So where is it linking to? I think this is the one. For example, is the link right? So I'm going to take this class over here and use that. So it's a complex class. So I just need to call one of them. And I just call this one and leave the rest out. And is this going to be enough? No, but I think because we need the not the text of it, but we need the href of it. Right? So we're going to put um, the, the 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 href attribute. It's just stored inside as an associative array, so you can just print that out. That should print the link out. Okay, so let's run this. Hopefully, that's a lot, lot of things that we've taken on. And let's hope we've selected all of them right. It's taking its own sweet time. I'm still here, guys. It's the video is not stopped. Anywhere on the 
dots are there. Get text. Everything should be fine. Yep, there you go. All right, look at that. You get the headline, you get the number of upwards, and that's your comments. And that's your link. You can just add reddit.com in front of pin that, and that's a relative link right now. So there you go. Once you've done that, you get and you get all the links. As simple as that, guys. So if you want, you can take all of this uh, and then put it in an array. You can export it to a CSV, do whatever you want with it. But uh, this is not enough, though. In production level programming, you will you will see that the headers, without the headers, um, the Reddit will actually stop giving you results. Even with this particular user agent header, after a while, if you're doing hundreds of queries, it will stop working. So what you need to do is you will have to create um, uh, you have to pass it through a rotating proxy. So I happen to be a founder of a rotating proxy SaaS service called Web's, you know, Proxies API, and you know, and uh, with that you will be able to easily pass through. We we basically supply millions of proxies, and with a simple API call like this, you just instead of calling Reddit directly, you're gonna call to us as a, as if uh, the URL itself is a parameter to our endpoint. And uh, of course, with an API key. So what you need to do is get a free API key. It will give you a thousand calls. Uh, no questions asked, no credit card required. And uh, you can sign up now and just get it and actually replace that URL over here with that and it will work beautifully. And we take care of, in fact, you don't even have to pass these headers. We take care of it behind the scenes. We take care of all these other tricks, about 30, 40 of these that you've accumulated over the years. Our algorithms will take care of so that, and it automatically retries as well. So you don't have to build that logic in. And you can do many, many concurrent corrections so that you can, um, you can multi-thread and get uh, a lot of results in it at any, at any point of time simultaneously. So all of this is possible. It's completely free. Uh, for now and uh, for a thousand calls after that you have to just pay for it and uh, so if you're serious about it otherwise actually I'm feeling a little awkward here you don't need to do all of that if you are trying to just learn this as well as if you're trying to just um, get a few pages then Reddit will be fine with, with your efforts but if you want to regularly run this in at any frequency and scale, then you need to get a rotating proxies API. Otherwise, I hope if that, if so, go to proxiesapi.com, get your free API key and play with it. Otherwise, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got a quick understanding of how beautiful soup works. Thanks, guys.